Hey, what's up everyone? St. R. Edwards here. Welcome back to the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for Everyone. In this particular lesson, we're going to create a way to show our users the correct letters that they have guessed in our app, Apple Pie. And we're also going to create a way to where the, uh, the uh, blank spaces will show up as well in the app. All right, so go ahead and open up the app and we're going to get started. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to create what we what we call and what we've used before. Uh, it's called a, a computed property, and we're going to do this computed property in the game struct uh, that we created, and you will see why here in a second. Uh, and this computed property is going to be called formatted word, and so you could create this above the mutating function that we have, uh, the player guess function, or you could do it below it. But just make sure you you are outside of the curly brace for that function. And remember, if you can just go left and right or either side of the uh, last curly brace, you can you know you'll know that you're outside of that function, as you just seen on my screen. And I'll show you again when I go left and right or right and left, it shows you the opening the curly braces by highlighting the top one yellow. So I'm gonna go below this, and I'm going to create a computer property like I said called formatted word so I'll say var formatted word and it's going to be of type string I'm going to do my curly brace and hit enter and so what we want to do is we want to uh, basically add add the correct letters to our um, to a word to a to a blank string and then we want to uh, add those to the to the guest letters array all right so this is what we're going to do we're going to say var guess word, and it's going to be an empty string for right now. And then we're going to say for letter and word, our, our property from up above. And we're going to say if guest letters dot contains an element that what element are we talking about? We're going to say letter. Do our curly brace here. So if it contains the you know the correct letter, we want to append it to the guest word. And so we're gonna go guest word. We're gonna say plus e plus equal, and we're gonna concatenate it. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna say letter. All right, and then we're gonna say else. We want to do a blank space, and so we're going to say guess word again plus equals, and we'll do we'll concatenate once again, and we'll just go. Um, I actually didn't have to do that. We're just going to do the underscore. All right. And then down below, we got to make sure we return the guest word. Um, so we're outside of the the for uh, the the for in loop, and so we're gonna go return guest word. All right. So how do we put this to use? All right. So we'll go ahead and say that. Uh, so I command. S um, on my keyboard and you can do the same thing to save the document and so now we can go back into the view controller and what we'll do is is we'll replace the the text for the correct word label by using the formatted word that we just created so we can update it and then we'll run our app just to make sure that it is doing what we expect it should do all right so down here in our correct word label we're going to do this so so in the update ui function we're going to do this we're going to say correct word label dot text equals current game dot formatted word all right so now if you guys will build and run your app you'll see you'll see some results all right so we're gonna see if everything worked out right. So my first word is Chewies. I'm not sure what you guys have, but hopefully you know how to spell. 
your your first word and we're going to check this out all right so down there we have a blank we have a blank space we just have uh you know it's supposed to be dotted lines um but they are all together it's all together so that's an issue we're going to need to fix but so i'm gonna just make a mistake i'll just pick a r i know r is not in the word chewies but then i'll select an s let's see if this works good so the s popped up i'll do a b just for the heck of it no another apple fell off g i don't know so i'll just go ahead and spell it out so we got that so yeah we got a little issue because you know the player really can't you know the player really can't tell how many letters are in our word all right so i spelled chewies and but another problem is this is that you can keep going so we can't even detect wins or losses right now all right but you know we spelled the word correctly so fine so what we're going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and stop this we're going to fix the issue with the with the dashed line so in swift there is a um, a method called joined and then there's a separator joined and then the, the argument that it takes inside of the uh inside the parentheses is is a argument called separator and what this method does is it basically uh works off of a works off of an array and then it'll uh, include what you want in that array to separate to separate the words or you know whatever you may have all right so so we're going to do that so we're going to use the joint separator method to create a uh, you know a better looking uh, dotted line down there so this is what we're going to do so we're going to we're going to do this in our update ui uh, function and here's how it how it's going to go so we're going to make some space and we're going to say var letter uh, or letters equals and we're going to create an empty string array we're going to initialize it and we're going to say uh, for letter in current game dot formatted word. So what we want to do. So we want to say letters dot append. We want to append the letter. All right. So those are all the correct words of oh, the most important part is that we got to turn this into a string because right now it is a character all right so we had to convert our string or if we had to convert letter into a character into a string because right now it's a character so if you go up here um, and you hold down option and you click on it you'll see that letter is a character all right, so we so we have to we kind of have to uh, uh, convert that into a string, not kind of, but we have to convert it into a string. All right, and so the next thing we want to do is we want to say uh, so we're going to say let word with spacing equal, and it's going to we're going to say letters dot joint. And so the one we want to use is the one with the string. So if you scroll down, it's the join separator one. And, and it tells you down here, it says returns a new string by concatenating the elements of the sequence, adding the given separator between each element. So this is what we want to use. So what we want to do is, so just hit, just hit uh, enter. And then we're going to do one set of quotation marks and a space. And then we're going to do another set of quotation marks. All right. That space is very important. And then what we're going to do is, is, is we're going to say, um, instead of this, how it is now, the correct word label dot text equals current game dot formatted word. So now we're going to say correct word label dot text equals word with spacing. All right. So now if you build and run your app, it should look how we want it to. You should see the the exact amount of spacing for whatever your words may be. All right. So for Chewies, for that word, for that name, there should be five spaces. So we should see five dashes instead of a solid line. 
um, that had no separation in between. All right, so let's see if that worked. All right, and it did. So down here at the bottom, as you can see on my screen, we do have the five spaces. So I'm just gonna spell out Chewy's, as you can see. Yep, C-H-U-Y-S. All right, so we got that. Well guys, that is it for this lesson. Stay tuned for the next lesson where we're gonna discuss how we can determine a winner and a loser and we can progress in the game. This is St. R. Edwards with the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for Everyone. You guys take care.